एन सी आर टी बायोलॉजी टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर ट्वेल्थ स्टैंडर्ड चैप्टर नंबर सिक्स मोलिकुलर बेसिस ऑफ इनहेरिटन्स इन द प्रीवियस चैप्टर यू हैव लर्न द इनहेरिटन्स पैटर्न एंड द जेनेटिक बेसिस ऑफ सच पैटर्न एट द टाइम ऑफ मेंडेल द नेचर ऑफ दोज फैक्टर्स रेग्युलेटिंग द पैटर्न ऑफ द इनहेरिटन्स वॉज नॉट क्लियर ओवर द नेक्स्ट हंड्रेड इयर्स द नेचर ऑफ द प्यूटेटिव जेनेटिक मटेरियल वॉज अ इन्वेस्टिगेटेड क्यूमुलेटिंग इन द रियलिस्टिक एंड द डी एन ए डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड इज द जेनेटिक मटेरियल एटलीस्ट फॉर द मेजोरिटी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम इन क्लास इलेवन यू हैव लर्न दैट द न्यूक्लिक एसिड आर द पॉलीमर्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स दी डी ऑक्सी राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड मीन्स द डी एन ए एंड द राइबो न्यूक्लिक एसिड इज द आर एन ए आर द टू टाइप्स ऑफ द न्यूक्लिक एसिड फाउंड इन द लिविंग सिस्टम डी एन ए एक्ट एज एन ए जेनेटिक मटेरियल इन मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑर्गेनिजम्स द आर एन ए दो इट ऑल्सो एक्ट एज ए जेनेटिक मटेरियल इन सम वायरसेस मोस्टली द फंक्शन एज ए मैसेंजर द आर एन ए हैज अडिशनल रोल एज वेल इट फंक्शन एज ए अडाप्टर स्ट्रक्चरल एंड इन सम केसेस एज ए कैटालिटिक मोलिक्यूल्स इन क्लास इलेवन यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द न्यूक्लियोटाइड्स एंड द वे दीज मोनोमर्स यूनिट आर लिंक टू फॉर्म ए न्यूक्लिक एसिड पॉलीमर्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द डी एन ए इट्स रेप्लीकेशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ मेकिंग द आर एन एज फ्रॉम द डी एन ए मीन्स द ट्रांसक्रिप्शन द जेनेटिक कोड दैट डिटरमाइंस द सिक्वेंस ऑफ द अमाइनो एसिड्स इन द प्रोटीन द प्रोसेस ऑफ द प्रोटीन सिंथेसिस मीन्स द ट्रांसलेशन एंड द इलेमेंटरी बेसिस ऑफ देयर रेग्युलेशन द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ कंप्लीट न्यूक्लियोटाइड सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ द ह्यूमन जीनोम ड्यूरिंग द लास्ट डिकेड हैज अ सेट इन अ न्यू एरा ऑफ द जीनोमिक्स इन द लास्ट सेक्शन द इसेंशियल ऑफ द ह्यूमन जीनोम सिक्वेंसिंग एंड इट्स अ कॉन्सिक्वेंसेज विल ऑल्सो बी डिस्कस लेट एस बिगिन अवर डिस्कशन बाय द फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द मोस्ट इंटरेस्टिंग मोलिक्यूल इन द लिविंग सिस्टम एंड दैट इज द डी एन ए द सिक्वेंस the subsequent sections we will understand that why it is the most abundant genetic material and what its a relationship with the rna now the 6.1 is the dna dna is a long polymer of the deoxyribonucleic acids nucleotides and the g uh, length of the dna is usually defined as a number of nucleotides or a pair of the nucleotide referred to as the base pair present in it This is also is a characteristic of the organisms for example the bacteriophage known as a phi in 174 has a 5386 nucleotide the bacteriophage lambda has the 4048502 base pairs the escherichia coli has the 4.6 into 10 raised to 6 base pairs and the haploid content of the human dna is the 3.3 into 10 raised to 9 base pairs let us discuss the structure of the such a long polymer now the 6.1.1 is the structure of the polynucleotide chain let us recapture the chemical structure of the polynucleotide chain that is the dna or rna a nucleotide has a three components the nitrogen base and the pentose sugar a ribose in case of the rna and deoxyribose of the dna and a phosphate group there are the two types of the nitrogen bases the purines means the adenine and the guanine and the pyrimidine including the cytosine uracil and the thymine cytosine is a common for both the dna and the rna and the thymine is a present in the dna uracil is a present in rna at the place of the thymine A nitrogenous base is a link to the OH of the first carbon pentose sugar through a N-glycosidic linkage to form a nucleoside such as the adenosine or a deoxy adenosine guanosine or a deoxy guanosine cytidine or a deoxy cytidine and the uridine or a deoxy thymidine when the phosphate group is a link with the OH of the fifth carbon of the nucleoside through the phospho di phosphoester linkage and the corresponding nucleotide or a deoxy nucle nucleotide depending upon the type of the sugar present is a form 
the two nucleotides are linked through the 3 prime 5 prime phosphodiester linkage to form the dinucleotides the more nucleotide can be more nucleotide can be joined in such a manner to form the polynucleotide chain a polymer this form has at one end free and the phosphate uh, one end free phosphate moiety at the 5 prime end of the sugar which is referred to as the 5 prime end of the polynucleotide chain similarly at the other end of the polymer the sugar has a free oh of the 3 prime carbon group which is referred to as the 3 prime end of the polynucleotide chain the backbone of the polynucleotide chain is a form due to the sugar and the phosphate the nitrogenous base link to the sugar moiety project from the backbone in rna the every nucleotide residues has an the additional oh group present at a 2 prime position in the ribose also in rna the uracil is a found at a place of the thymine that is the 5 methyl uracil and the another chemical name for the thymine the dna is an the acidic substances present in the nucleus was a first identified by the friedrich mischer in 18 1869 he named it as the nuclein and however due to the technical limitations in isolating such a long polymer intact and the elucidation of the structure of the dna remain elusive for the very long period of time it was only in 1953 that james watson and the frederick crick francis crick were based on the x-ray diffraction data produced by the muris welkins and the rosland roslind franklin propose a very simple but a famous double helix model of the D- structure of the dna one of the hallmark of their propos- uh, proposition was a based pairing between the two strands of the polynucleotide chains however this proposition was also based on the observation of the erwin chorgoff that for the double stranded dna the ratio between the adenine and the thymine and the guanine and the cytosine are constant and the equals one the base pairing confirms a very unique property to the polynucleotide chain they are said to be the complementary to each other and the therefore it a sequ- if the sequence of the base in one strand is known they is known then the sequence in the other strand can be predicted also if each strand from the dna let us call it as a parental dna and act as a template for the synthesis of the new strands the two double stranded dna let us call them as a daughter dna thus the produce the wood thus produce would be the identical to the parental dna molecule because of this the genetic implement implication of the structure of dna becomes a very clear the silent feature of the double helical structures of the dna are also follows it is a made up of the two polynucleotide chain whether the backbone is a constituent constituted by the sugar phosphate and the base project inside the two chain have the anti parallel properties and it means if one chain has the polarity the 5 prime to 3 prime and the other is a 3 prime to 5 prime the base of base in the two strands are the paired through the hydrogen bonds forming the base pair adenine forms the two hydrogen bonds with the thymine from opposite strands and vice versa similarly the guanine is a bonded with the cytosine with three hydrogen bonds as a result the always a purine comes opposite to the pyrimidine and this generates the approximately uniform distance between the two strands of the helix the two clay chains are coiled in a right handed fashion the pitch of the helix is the 3.4 nanometer a nanometer is 1 billionth of the meter that of the 10 raised to minus 9 meter and there are the roughly the 10 10 base pairs in each turn consequently the distance between the one base pair in a helix is the approximately the point 34 nanometer the plane of the one base pair struck over the other in the double helix and this addition to the hydrogen bonds confirm the stability of the helical structures 
compare the structure of the purine and the pyrimidines can you find that why the distance between the two polynucleotides or a polynucleotide chain in the dna remains almost constant the proposition the proposition of the double helix structure for the dna and its simplicity in explaining the genetic implication becomes the revolutionary when soon the francis crick proposed a central dogma in a molecular biology which states that the genetic information flows from the dna to rna to the proteins the replication of dna then transcription then translation and result of the translation is a formation of the protein and this is known as a central dogma in some viruses the flow of the information in is in a reverse direction that is from the rna to dna can you suggest a simple name of the process the 6.1.2 is a packaging of the dna helix taken the distance between the two consecutive base pairs as a 0.3 nanometer that is the 0.3 0.34 nanometer means the 0.34 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter if the length of the dna double helix in the typical mammalian cell is calculated simply by the multiplying the total number of the base pairs with a distance between the two consecutive base pairs that is the 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to 9 base pair into the 0.34 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter per base pair it comes out the approximately the 2.2 meters the length of that is a far greater than the dimension of the typical nucleus and approximately 10 raised to 6 meters how is such a long polymer package in a cell if the length of the e coli dna is a 1.36 nanometer can you calculate the number of the base pairs in a e coli in prokaryotes the each such as the e coli though they do not have the definite nucleus the dna is not scattered throughout the cell the dna being negatively charged and is held with the some proteins that has a positive charge in the region termed as a nucleoids the dna in a nucleoid is organized in the large loop loop held by the proteins in you in you carrots this organization is a much more complex there is a set of the positive charges and basic proteins called as a histone a protein acquires the chain charge depend upon depending upon the abundance of the amino acid residues with a charged side chain the histone are rich in the basic amino acid and residues that is the lysine and the arginine both of the amino acid residues carry a positive charge in their side chain the histone are organized to form the unit of the eight molecules called as a histone octamer the negatively charged dna is wrapped around the positively charged histone octamer to form a structure called as a nucleosomes a typical nucleosome contain the 200 base pairs of the dna helix the nucleosome constitute a repeating unit of the structure in the nucleus called as a chromatin the thread like the strain colored bodies seen in the nucleus the nucleosome in the chromatin are seen as a bead on the string structure when viewed under the electron microscope that is the em the theoretically how many such a beads or nucleosomes do you imagine are present in the mammalian cell the beads on the string structure in the chromatin is a package to form the chromatin fibers that are further coil and condense at a metaphase stage of the cell division to form a chromosome the packaging of the chromatin at a higher level requires the additional set of the chromo proteins that collectively are referred to as the non histone chromosomal proteins that is the nhc in typical nucleus the some regions of the chromatin are loosely packed and a stain light and are referred to as the u chromatin the chromatin that more densely packed and the stain dark are called as a heterochromatin u chromatin is said to be the transcriptionally active chromatin whereas the heterochromatin is a inactive now the 6.2 is the star uh, the starch for the the search for the genetic material even though the discovery of the nuclein by the mischer and the proposition and proposition of the 
for the principal of the inheritance by the mendel were almost the same time but that the dna acts as a genetic material looks along to the discovered and the proven by the 1926 the quest to determine the mechanism for the genetic inheritance had reached the molecular level the previous discoveries by the george mendel and the walter sutton and thomas hunt morgan and the numerous other scientists had narrowed the research to the chromosome located in the nucleus of the most cells but the question of what molecule was actually the genetic material had not been answered transforming principles in 1928 the frederick griffiths and the series of the experiment with the streptococcus pneumoniae the bacterium responsible for the pneumonia the witness a miraculous transformation in the bacteria during the course of his experiment the living organism that is the bacteria had the changed in a physical form when the streptococcus pneumoniae or a pneumococcus bacteria are grown on a culture plate some produce the smooth shiny colonies that is the capital s while the other produces the rough colony denoted by the capital r this is because of the s strain bacteria have the mucus the polysaccharide coat while the r strain does not the mice infect with the s strain that is the virulent die from the pneumonia infection but a mice infected with the r strain do not produce the pneumonia the s strain injected into mice mice get dies when the r strain get injected into mice the mice get live the griffith was able to kill kill the bacteria by hitting them he observed that the hit kill s strain bacteria injected into the mice did not kills them when the s strain hit kill is injected into mice mice get live live then s strain hit kill plus r strain which are the live are injected into mice then mice get die the injection injected a mixture of the hit kill s and the live r bacteria rough bacteria the mice get died however he recovered the living s bacteria from the dead mice he concluded that the r strain bacteria had is somehow been transformed by the hit kill s strain bacteria and some transformation principle transfer from the hit kill s strain had enable the r strain to the synthesis a smooth polysaccharide coat and becomes the virulent this must be due to the transfer of the genetic material however the biochemical nature of the genetic material was not defined from this experiment the biochemical character uh, characterization of the transforming principles prior to the work of the oswald avery the colin mcclody and the maclin mccarty in 1933 to the 30, uh, 44 the genetic material was though to be the proteins the work to determine the biochemical nature of the transforming principles of the griffith experiment they purified the biochemicals the proteins dna rna etc from the hit kill s cell to see which one could transform the live r cells into the s cell they discovered that the dna alone alone from the s bacteria caused the r bacteria to becomes the transform they also discovered that the protein digesting enzyme the protease and the rna digesting enzyme that is the rnas did not affect the transformation so the transforming substances was not a protein or rna the digestion with the dnas did not inhibit the transformation suggesting that the dna causes the transformation they concluded that the dna is a hereditary material but not all biologists were con- convinced can you think of the any different bi- differences between the dnas and rna dna and dnas now the 6.2.1 the genetic material is the dna the unequivocal unequi- proof that the dna is a genetic material and come from the experiment of the alfred Hershey and the Martha Chas in 1952 they work with the viruses and infect the bacteria called as a bacteriophage the bacteriophage attached to the bacteria and its genetic material then enters the bacterial cell 
the bacterial cell treats the viral genetic material as if it is it was a, its own and the subsequent manufacture more viruses partic particles and hershey and chas work to discover whether it was a protein or dna from the virus that enter the bacteria they grew the some viruses on the medium that contains the radioactive phosphorus and some other on the medium that contains the radioactive sulfur the virus is grown in the presence of the radioactive phosphorus containing contain the radioactive dna but not a radioactive protein because the dna contains the phosphorus but protein does not similarly the virus is grown on the radioactive sulfur contain the radioactive protein but not a radioactive dna because the dna does not have contains the sulfur now the radioactive phages were allowed to attach the e coli bacteria and then as the infection proceed the viral viral coat were removed from the bacteria by agitating them into in the blender the virus particle were the separated from the bacteria by the spinning them in a centrifuge the bacteria which was infected with the viruses had that had a radioactive dna where the radioactive indicating that the dna was a material that passed from the virus to the bacteria the bacteria that were infected with the virus that had a radioactive proteins were not radioactive this indicates the protein did not enters the bacteria from the virus dna is therefore the genetic material that is passed from the virus to the bacteria now the 6.2.2 is the properties of the genetic material that is the dna versus rna from the foraging discuss from the foregoing discussion it is uh, it is clear that the debate between the protein versus the dna as a genetic material was an equivocally resolved from the hershey chas experiment and it becomes and the establish the facts that it is a dna that act as a genetic material however it sub, sub, uh, subsequently becomes the clear that in a some viruses the dna is a genetic material for example the tobacco mosaic virus or a qb bacteriophage etc answer to some of the questions such as the why dna is a predominant genetic material whereas the rna perform a dynamic function of messenger and adapter has to be found from the different differences between the chemical structure of the two nuclear nucleic acid molecules can you recall the two chemical differences between the dna or and rna the molecule that can act a genetic material must fulfill the following criteria first it should be the it should be able to generate its a replica or replication it should be stable chemically and structurally it should provides the scope for the slow changes mutation that are required for the evolution and it should be able to express itself in a form of the mendelian characters if one examine the each requirement one by one the because of the rule of the base pairing and the complementary chain complementarity both the nucleic acid dna and rna have the ability to direct their duplication the other molecule in the living system such as the protein fails to fulfill their criteria itself the genetic material should be stable enough not to change the different stages of the life cycle the age or with the change in the physiology of the organism stability as one of the properties of the genetic material was a very evident in the griffith transforming principle itself that heat which kills the bacteria at least did not destroy the sum of the properties of the genetic material and this now can be easily be explained in the light of the dna that is the two strands being complementary if separated by the heating come together when appropriate conditions are provided further the two prime oh group present at a every nucleotide in the rna is a reactive group and makes the rna liable and the easily degradable the rna is also known as known to be the catalytic hence the reactive therefore the dna chemically is a less reactive and the structurally is a more stable when compared to the rnas therefore among the two nucleic acid the dna is a better genetic material 
in fact the presence of the thymine at the place of the uracil also confirm the also confer the additional stability to the dna detailed discussion about the requires the understanding of the process of the repair in the dna and you will study these processes in a higher classes both the dna and rna are able to mutate in fact the rna being unstable mutated at the faster rate consequently the viruses having the rna genome and having the shorter life span mutated and evolved the faster rna can directly record for the synthesis of the protein and hence can easily express the characters dna however is a dependent on the rna for the synthesis of the protein the protein synthesizing machinery has evolved around the rnas about the discussion the above discussion indicates the both the rna and the dna can function as a genetic material but dna being a more stable is a preferred for the storage of the genetic information for the transmission of the genetic transformation rna is a better the 6.3 is a rna world from foraging uh, foregoing uh, discussion and immediate question becomes the evident which is the first genetic material it shall be discussed in detail in the chapter on the chemical evolution but briefly as shall we shall highlights the sum of the facts and the pro points the rna was a first genetic material there is no enough evidences to suggest that the essential life processes such as the metabolism metabolism translation and the splicing etc evolve around the rnas rna used to act as a genetic material as well as the catalyst catalyst there are some important biochemical reactions in the living system that are catalyzed by the rna catalyst catalyst and not by the protein enzyme but rna being a catalyst was a reactive and the hence the unstable therefore the dna is evolved from the rna with chemical modification that make it more stable dna being double stranded and having the complementary strand further resist the change by evolving the process of repair now the 6.4 is a replication while the proposing the double helical structure of the dna the watson and the crick had immediately proposed a shame for the replication of the dna to quote that their original uh, statement that uh, that is as follows it has a not escape our noticed that is a specific pairing we have postulated immediately suggest a possible copying mechanism for the genetic material it is said by the watson and crick in 1953 the shame suggests that the two strands would separate and act as a template for the synthesis of the new complementary strands and after the completion of the replication each dna molecule would have the one parental and the one newly synthesized strand and this shame was a term as a semi conservative dna replication in 6.4.1 is experimental proof it is now proven that the dna replicates the semi conservatively and it was shown first in the isertia coli and sequentially in the higher organism such as the plant and the human cells the matthew meselson and the franklin stalls performed the following experiments in the 1950 58 they grew the e coli in a medium containing the 15 and h4 cl the n15 is the heavy isotope of the nitrogen as the only nitrogen source for the many generations the result was that the n15 was uh, incorporated into the newly synthesized dna as well as the other nitrogen containing compounds is a heavy dna molecule could be distinguished from the normal dna by centrifugation in the cesium chloride that is the cscl density gradient please note that the N15 is not a radio isot uh, radioactive isotope and it can be the separated from the N14 only based on the densities second is the second is then they transform to the cell into the medium with a normal N14 H4Cl and took the samples at a various definite uh, definite time interval as the cell multiplies the extracted the dna that rem, uh, that remain as the double stranded helix 
the various samples were separated independently on the cesium chloride gradient to measure the densities of the dna can you recall what a centrifugal force is and think why molecule with the higher mass or density would sediment the faster the result are shown in the figure now the third point is the thus the dna that was extracted from the culture one generation after transfer from the 15, n15 to the n14 medium that is after the 20 minute e coli divides in the 20 minute had a hybrid or a intermediate density dna exactly from the culture after the another generation that is after the 40 minute second generation was the compound to equal amount of the this hybrid dna and the light dna if the e coli was allowed to grow for the 80 minute then what would be the proportions of the light and the hybrid densities of the dna molecule very similar experiment involving uh, use of the radioactive uh, thymidine to the to detect the distribution of the newly synthesized dna in the chromosome was performed on the vicia faba means the faba beans by the teller and the colleagues in the 1958 The experiment proven that the DNA in the chromosome also replicate the semi conservatively. Now the 6.4.2 is a machinery and the enzymes in living cell such as the E coli the process of the replication requires a set of the catalyst that is the enzyme. The main enzyme is referred to as a DNA dependent DNA polymerase. Since it use it use a dna template to catalyze the polymerization of the deoxynucleotides these enzymes are highly efficient enzymes as they have the catalyze the polymerization of the larger number of the nucleotides in a very short time e coli that has only 4.6 into 10 raised to 6 base pair compared with compare it with a human whole diploid contain is a 6.6 into 10 raised to 9 base pair the complete the process of the replication within the 18 minutes and that means the average rate of the polymerization has to be the approximately the 2000 base pair second not only do not only do this polymerize polymerize polymerases have to be faster but they have they also have the catalyze the reaction with a high degree of the accuracy any mistake during the replication would result in the mutation furthermore the energetically replication is a very expensive process d oxyribonucleic uh, nucleoside triphosphate serve the dual purpose in addition to the acting as a substrate the they provide the energy for the polymerization reaction the two termina- terminal uh, phosphate in the d oxynucleoside triphosphate are high energy phosphate same as in case of the atp in addition to the dna dependent dna polymerase many additional enzyme are required to complete the process of the replication with a high degree of the accuracy for a long dna molecule since the two strands of the dna cannot be separated in its entire length due to very high energy requirement the replication occurs within a small opening of the dna helix referred to as the replication fork the dna dependent dna polymerase catalyzes the polymerization only in a one direction that is the 5 prime to uh, 5 prime to the 3 uh, prime this creates the some additional compli- complications at the replicating the fork constantly on one strand the template with the polarity 3 prime to the 5 prime the replication is a continue while on the other the template with the polar polarity of the 5 prime to the 3 prime it is discontinuous the discontinuously synthesize the fragment fragment are later joined by the enzymes is the dna ligase the dna polymerase on other on their own cannot initiate the process of the replication also the replication does not initiate the randomly at any place in dna there are there is a definite region in e coli dna where the replication is originated such a region are termed as a origin of the replication and it is because of the requirement of the origin of the replication that a piece of the dna if needed to the propagated during the recombination dna procedure required a vector 
a vector provide a origin of the replication therefore not every detail of the replication is understood well in eukaryotes the replication of the dna takes place at a s phase of the cell cycle and the replication of the dna and the cell division cell division cycle should be highly coordinated a failure in the cell division after the dna replication result into into the polyploidy a chromosomal anomaly you will learn the detail nature of the origin and the processes occurring at the site in a higher classes the 6.5 is the transcription the process of copying the genetic information from the strand of the dna into the rna is termed as a transcription here also the principle of the complementary go- govern complementarity govern the process of the transcription except the adenosine complements now from the base pair with the uracil instead of the thymine however unlike in the process of the replication which one set in the the total dna of the organism get duplicated in transcription only segment of the dna and the only one of the strand is a cop- uh, is uh, copied into the rna this necessitate the defining boundaries that could be demarcates the region and the strands of the dna that would be transcribed why both strands are not copied during the transcription has the simple answer first if both the strands act as a template they would code for the dna molecules with the different sequences remember the complementarity does not mean identical and in terms if they code for the proteins the sequence of the amino acid in the protein would be different hence the one segment of the dna would be coding for the two different proteins and this would be this would complicate the genetic information transfer the machinery second the two rna molecules if produced the simultaneously would be complementary to each other and hence would form the double stranded rnas and this would prevent the rna from the begin from being the translated into the protein and exercise for the transcription would become say futile one the 6.5.1 is the transcription unit a transcription unit in the dna is defined the primarily by the three regions of the dna a promoter second is the structural gene and third is the terminator there is the convention in defining the two strands of the dna in the structural genes of the transcription unit since the two strands have opposite polarity and the dna dependent rna polymerase also catalyze the polymerase in only one direction that is the 5 prime to 3 prime the strand that has a poly- polarity of the 3 prime to 5 prime act as a template and it is also referred to as a template strand other strand which has a polarity 5 prime to 3 prime the sequence same as the rna except the thymine at the place of the uracil is displaced during the transcription strangly strangely these strands which does not code for the anything is referred to as the coding strand all the reference reference point while defining the transcription until is made with the coding strands it explain the point and hypothetical sequences from the transcription unit is represented below the template strand and the coding strand the promoters and the terminator flanks the structural genes in the transcription unit the promoter is said to be the located towards the 5 prime end that is the upstream of the structural gene the reference is made with the response with respect to the polarity of the coding strands it is dna sequence that provides the binding sites for the dna or rna polymerase and it is the presence of the promoter in the transcription unit that also define the template and the coding strands by switching its position with the terminator the defining a uh, definition of the coding and the template strand could be reserved the terminator is located towards the 3 prime end that is the downstream of the coding strand and it usually define the ends of the processes of the transcription 
there are the additional regulatory sequences that may be present uh, present further upstream or the downstream to the promoters some of the properties of these sequences shall be discussed while dealing with the regulation of the gene expression 6.5.2 is a transcription unit and the genes the gene is defining the functional unit of the inheritance though there is a no ambiguities that the gene is located on the dna it is difficult to literally define a gene in terms of the dna sequence the dna sequence coding for the trna or the rrna molecules also define a gene however by defining a cistron as a segment of the dna coding for the polypeptide the structural gene in the transcription unit could be said as a monocystronic mostly in the eukaryotes or a polycystronic mostly in the bacteria or a prokaryotes in eukaryotes the monocystronic structural genes have the interpreted interrupted coding sequences the gene in the eukaryotes are the splits the coding sequence or express the sequences as a defined def, uh, define as a exon exon are said to be the those sequences that appear in the mature or a process rna the exon are the interrupted by the introns and introns or the intervening sequences do not appear in the mature or a process dna the split gene arrangement further complicates the definition of the gene in the terms of the dna segment inheritance of the characters in also is also affected by the promoters and the regulatory sequences of the structural gene hence sometimes the regulatory sequences are loosely defined as a regulatory genes even though the even though these sequences do not code for the any rna or a proteins now the 6.5.3 is a type of the dna and the process of the transcription in bacteria there are the three major types of the rnas mrna that is the messenger rna trna that is the transfer rna and the rrna is a ribosomal rna all these rnas are needed to synthesize a protein in the cell the mrna provide the template that is the trna brings the amino acid and read the genetic code the rrnas plays a structural and catalytic role during the translation there is a single dna dependent rna polymerase that catalyzes the transcription of all the type of the rnas in bacteria rna polymerase binds to the promoter and initiate the transcription or it initiation it uses the nucleoside triphosphate as a substrate and a polymerase in a template dependent fashion following the rule of the complementarity in somehow also facilitate the opening of the helix and continuous elongation only a short stretch of the rna remains bound to the enzyme once the polymerase reaches the terminal region the nascent rna fall off so also the rna polymerase and this result in the termination termina, uh, termina, termination of the transcription and intriguing questions is that how the rna polymerase able to catalyze the all three steps which are initiation elongation and termination the rna polymerase is only capable of the catalyzing the process of the elongation it associate the transiently with the initiation factors that is the initiation factor and the termination factor to initiate the terminal to initiate and terminate the transcription respectively association with these factors alter the specificity of the rna polymerase to either initiate or terminate in bacteria since the mrna does not require any processing to becomes the active and also since the transcription and the translation take place in the same compartment there is a no separation of the cytosol and the nucleus in the bacteria many time the translation can begin much before the mrna is a fully transcribed consequently the transcription and the translation can couple in the bacteria in eukaryote there is there are the two additional complexities there are at least the three rna polymerase in the nucleus in addition to the rna polymerase found in the organelles and there is a clear cut division of the labor the rna polymerase first transcribe the r rnas that is the 28s 18s and 5.8s whereas the rna polymerase third is responsible for the transcription of the trna 5s rna and the sn rnas 
the small nuclear RNAs. The RNA polymerase second transcribes the precursor of the mRNA and the heterogeneous nuclear RNAs, that is the HN RNAs. The second is the, the second complexity is that the primary transcript contain both the exon and the intron and are not functional. Hence, it is the subjected to process called as a splicing where the intron and removes the exon are joined in the defi in defined order. The HN RNAs undergo the additional processes called as a capping and the tailing. In capping and the unusual nucleotides, the methyl gonosine triphosphate is added to the 5' end of the HN RNAs. In tailing, adeno, um, adenylated residues that is the 200 to the 300 are added at a 3' end in a template independent manner. It is fully processed the HN RNAs now called as the mRNA that is the transported out of the nucleus for the translation. The significance of such a complexity is now begin to the understand to understood the splits gene arrangement represent the probability probably the ancient features of the genome. The presence of the intron is uh, reminiscent and the antiquity and the process of the splicing represent a dominance of the RNA world. In recent time, the understanding of the RNA and the RNA dependent process in the living system have assumed the more importance. The 6.6 .6 is the genetic code. During the replication, the transcription is a nucleic acid was copied to form the another nucleic acid. Hence, these processes are easy to conceptualize on the basis of the complementarity. The process of the translation requires the transfer of the genetic, genetic information from polymer of the nucleotide to the synthesize a polymer of the nucleic acid. Neither does any complementarity exist between the nucleotide and the amino acid, nor could any be drawn theoretically and there exist ample evidences though a support and the notice that change in the nucleic acid that is the genetic material where the responsible for the change in the amino acid in the proteins this leads to the propo proposition of the genetic code that code the direct and the sequences of the amino acid during the synthesis of the protein if determining the biochemical nature of the genetic material and the structure of the dna was a very exciting the proportion and the deciphering of the genetic code were most challenging. In very true sense, it requires the involvement of the scientists from the several disciplines, the physicist, organic chemistry, biochemistry and geneticist. Uh, it was a G G George Gamow and the physicist who argued that the, since there, there are the only four bases, if they have to code for the 20 amino acid, the code should be constituted a combination of the bases. And he suggests that in order to code for the all 20 amino acid, the code should be made up of the three nucleotides. And this was very bold proportion because a permutation combination of the 4 raised to 3, that is the 4 into 4 into 4, would generate the 64 codons generating a many more codons than requires providing proof that the codon was a triplet triplet was a more daunting task more doubting task the chemical method developed by the her govind khurana was the instrumental in the synthesizing the rna molecule with defining the combinations of the bases the homopolymers and the copolymers, the Marshall Nirenberg cell free system of the protein synthesis finally helped to code to the deciferal and the several Okao enzymes, the polynucleotide poly polyphosphorylase was also helpful in the polymerizing the RNA and defining the sequences in the template independent manner that is the enzymatic synthesis of the RNA and finally checkerboard for the genetic code was prepared which is given in birth. The silent physics code are as follows. The genetic code is a triplet 
the 61 codon for the amino acid and the 3 codon do not code for the any amino acid hence they are the functional function as a stop codon some amino acid are coded by the one one than uh, one codon more than one codon and hence the code is the degenerate the code is a read in mrna is a continuous fashion and there are the no punctuations the code is nearly universal for example for the from the bacteria to the human the uuu or code for the phenylalanine some exceptions to this rule have been found the mitochondrial codon and the sum of the protosomes the aug is a dual function and it codes for the methionine and it also act as a initiator codon the uaa uag and uga are the stop terminator codon codon if following is the sequences of the nucleotide in the mrna the predicts the sequence of the amino acid and coded by it and take the help of the checkerboard that is the aug uuu uuc uuc uuu uuu uuc now try to oppose it the following is the sequence of the amino acid coded by the mrna and predict the nucleotide sequences in the mrna or rna the methionine phenylalanine 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 do you face any difficulty in the predicting the opposite can you now correlate which two properties of the genetic code you have learned now the 6.6.1 .6 is the mutation and the genetic code relationship between the gene and the dna is a best understood by the mutation studies you have studied the, about the mutation and its effect in the chapter number 5th the effect of the larger detection deletion and the rearrangement in the segment of the dna is easily comprehend it may result in a loss or a gain of the gene and so function the effect of the point mutation will be explained here the classical example of the point mutation is a change of the single base pairs in a gene for the beta globulin beta, beta globulin chain that result in the change of the amino acid residues that is a glutamate to the valin it represent into the disease conditions called as a sickle cell anemia the effect of the point mutation that insert or a deletes a base in a structural gene can be the better understood by following simple example consider a statement that is made up of the following words each having the three letters like the genetic code the ram has a red cap if we insert the letter b in between has and the red the rearrangement statement it would be read as follows the ram has a bri this year similarly if we now insert the two letters at the same place says the bi now it would be the ram has the beer adc app now we insert the three letters together say the big the statement would read the ram has a big red cap the same exercise can be repeated by deleting the letter of the r e d one by one and rearranging the statement to make the triple triple order the conclusion from the above exercise is a very obvious the insertion or the deletion of the one or a two bases change the reading frames from the point of the insertion and the deletion however such a mutations are referred to as the frame shift insertion and the deletion mutation insertion or a deletion of the three or a its a multiple bases insert a deletion in a one or a multiple codon hence one or a multiple amino acids and reading frame remains the unaltered from that of that point towards the 6.6.2 is a trna the adapter molecule from the very beginning of the proposition of the codes it was clear to the francis crick that there has to be mechanism to read the codes and also to link it to the amino acid because amino acid have no structural specialization specialties to read the code uniquely the postulated the presence of the adapter molecules that would on one hand 
reads the code on code and on other hand would binds to the specific amino acid the rnas then called as a snrnas or soluble rna was known before the genetic code was postulated however it uh, it's it is a role as in the adapter molecule was a design much later tRNA has a anticodon loop that has a based complementary to the code and it also has the amino acid that is the acceptor arm to the which it binds to the amino acid that is the tRNA are the specific for each amino acid for initiation there is another specific tRNA that is referred to as the initiator tRNA there are the no tRNAs for the stop codon now the secondary structure of the tRNA has been de- depicted that looks like a clover leaf in actual structure the tRNA is a compact molecule which looks like the inverted l the 6.7 is a translation translation refer to the process of the polymerization of the amino acid in the form of the polypeptide the order and the sequence of the amino acid are defined by the sequence of the base in the mRNAs the amino acid are joined by the bond which is known as the peptide bond and the formation of the peptide bond requires the energy therefore the first phase of the itself amino acid are the activated in presence of the atp and linked to their cognate tRNA possesses the commonly called as a charging of the tRNA or amino acyl tRNA to be more specific if two such a charge tRNA are brought close enough and the formation of the peptide bond between them would be favored the energetically the presence of the catalyst would enhance the rate of the peptide bond formation the cellular factory responsible for the synthesizing the proteins is the ribosome the ribosome consists of the structural rnas and about the 80 different proteins in its inactive state it exhibit it exists as a two subunit a large subunit and the small subunit when the small subunit encounter the mrna the process of the translation of the mrna and the pro- and the protein begins there are the two sides of the larger subunit for the subsequent amino acids to bind to the to bind to and thus to be close enough to each other for the formation of the peptide bond the ribosome also act as a catalyst that is the 23s rnas our rnas in bacteria is enzyme ribo, uh, ribozymes for the formation of the peptide bond the translational unit of the mrna is a sequence of the rna that is flanked by the started codon that is the aug and the stop codon code for the polypeptide and mrna also has the some additional sequences that are not translated and referred to as the untranslated regions that is the utr the utr are present at both 5 prime end before start codon and at the 3 prime end after the stop codon they are required for the efficient translation process for initiation the ribosome binds to the mrna and start the codon that is the aug that is recognized only by the initiation of the tRNA ribosome proceed to the elongation phase of the protein synthesis and during this stage the complex is composed of the amino acid linked to the tRNA sequentially bind to the appropriate codon uh, in the mRNAs by the forming the complementary base pairs with the tRNA anticodon the ribosome moves into the codon to code along the mRNAs amino acid are added by one one by one the translated into the polypeptide sequences dictated by the dna and the represented by the mrna at the end the release factor bind to the stop codon and terminating the translation and the releasing the complete polypeptide from the ribosomes now the 6.8 is the regulation of the genetic expression regulation of the expression refers to as the very broad term that may occurs at various levels considering that the gene expression result in the formation of the polypeptide it can be regulated at a several levels in eukaryote the regulation could be exerted at the transcriptional level that is the formation of the primary transcript second is the processing level that is the regulation of the spl- uh, splicing and the third is the transport of the mrnas from the nucleus to the cytoplasm or a translation level 
the gene in the cell are expressed to perform the particular function in the set of the functions. For example, if the enzyme called as a beta galactosidase is a synthesized by the E. coli, it is used to catalyze the hydrolysis of the di disaccharides, that is the lactose, into the galactose and the glucose. The bacteria use them as an energy source. Hence, if the bacteria do not have the lactose around them to be utilized for the energy source, they would no longer require the synthesis of the enzyme that is the beta galactosidase. Therefore, in a simple term, it is the metabolic, physiological or environmental conditions that regulate the expression of the gene. The development and the differentiation of the embryo into the adult organism are also a result of the coordinated regulation of the expression of the several sets of gene. In prokaryotes, the control of the rate of the transcriptional initiation is the predominant site for the control of the gene expression. In transcription, the unit in transcription unit, the activity of the RNAs, polymer, RNA polymerase are given the promoter is in terms of the regulate and in, in, uh, interacts with the necessary proteins which affects its ability to recognize the start site. Thus the regulatory proteins can act both the positively activator and negatively re repressors. The accessibility of the promoter region, the prokaryotic DNA is in the many cases regulated by the interaction of the proteins with the sequences term as the operator. operator. The operator region is adjacent to the promoter element in a most operon and in a most cases the sequence of the operator operator binds the repressor protein. Each operon has two specific operator and specific repressor. For example, the lac operon is a present only in the lac operon and it interacts the specifically with the lac repressor only. The 6.8.1 is a lac operon. The elucidation of the lac operon was also result in the close association between the geneticist, the Francisco Jacob and the bio and biochemist, the Jack Monod, and they were the first to elucidate the transcriptionally regulated system. In the lac operon, here the lac refer as a lactose and a polycystronic structural gene is regulated by the common uh, promoter and the regulator genes. Such arrangement is a very common in the bacteria and is referred to as the operon. To name a few such example that is the lac operon or a trip operon or a aura operon, his operon and van valin operon etc. The lac operon consists of the one regulatory genes, the I gene and here the term is I denote the referred to as the indu uh, inducers. Rather it is the derived from the word inhibitor. And the three structural genes, the Z, Y and the A. The I gene codes for the repressor and the lac operon. The Z gene codes for the beta galactosidase, that is the B beta galactosidase, which is the primary responsible for the hydrolysis of the disaccharide lactose into the monosaccharide unit, that is the galactose and the glucose. The Y gene codes for the primase and such and which increase the permeability of the cell to the beta galactosides. The a gene is encoded a trans uh, a trans acetylase hence all the three gene product, uh, products in the lac operon are required for the metabolism of the lactose in most other operon as well the gene present in the operon are needed together to function in a same or a related metabolic pathways the lactose is a substrate for the enzyme beta galactosidase and it regulates the switching on and off of the operon, hence it is termed as an inducer. In absence of the prefer preferred carbon sources such as the glucose, if the lactose is a if lactose is provided in the growth medium of the bacteria, the lactose is transported into the cell through the action of the permease. Remember, a very low level of the expression of the lac operon has to be present in the cell as the at uh, all time otherwise the lactose cannot enter the cell the lactose then induce the operon in the following manner the repressor of the operon is synthesized all the all the time constitutively from the i gene 
the repressor protein binds to the operator region of the operon and prevents the rna polymerase from the transcribing the operon the presence of an the inducer such as the lactose or a allolactose the repressor is inactivated by the interaction with the inducers this allows the rna polymerase and access to the promoter and transcription proceed, proceeds essentially the regulation of the lac operon can also be visualized as a regulation of the enzyme synthesis by its uh, substrate remember the glucose and the galactose cannot act as a inducer for the lac operon can you think for how long lac operon would be expressed in the presence of the lactose regulation of the lac operon by the repressor is referred to as the negative regulation and the lac operon is undergo the control of the positive regulations as well as uh, as well but it is beyond the scope of the discussion at this levels now the 6.9 is the human genome project in the proceeding sequence you have learned that it is the sequence of the base in the dna that determines the genetic information of the g- given organism in other words the genetic makeup of an organism or and the individual lies in the dna sequences if two individual differ then their dna sequence should also be differ at least at some places these assumptions lead to the concept of finding out the complete dna sequences of the human genome with the establishment of the genetic engineering the technique where it was possible to isolate and clone any piece of the dna and availability of the simple fast technique for determining the dna sequence a very ambitious project of the sequencing D, uh, human genome was launched in the year 1990s the human genome project that is the h gp was called as a mega project you can imagine the magnitude and the requirement for the project if we simply defining the aim of the project as follows the human genome is said to be have approximately 3 into 10 to 9 base pairs and if the cost of the sequencing requires the us dollar 3 per base pair the estimate cost of the beginning the total establishing cost of the project would be approximately 9 billion us dollars further if the obtain a sequence where to be stored in the type from form of in a book and if each page of the book contains the 1000 letters and each book contains the 1000 pages then 3300 such books would be required to store the information of dna required from the single human cell the enormous amount of the data expected to the generated also necessitate the use of the high speed computer computation devices for the data storage and the retrieval and the analysis the hgp was closely associated with the rapid development of the new era in the biology called as a bioinformatics now the goal of the hgp the sum of the important goals of the hgp is means the human genome project as follows the identify all approximately the 20000 to the 25000 genes of the human in human dna determine the sequences of the 3 billion chemicals base pairs that make up the human dna store this information in the database improve the tools for the data analysis transfer the related technologies to other sectors such as the industries address an ethical legal and the social issues that is the elisa that may arises from the project the human genome project was a 13 year project coordinated by the us department of the energy and the national institute of the health during the early years of the hgps the welcome welcome trust that is the uk become a major partner additional contributors came from the japan france germany china and others the project was completed in the 2003 the knowledge about the effect of dna variation among the individuals can lead to the revolutionary new ways to diagnose treat and the some and some day prevents the thousand of the disorders that affects the human being beside the providing the clues understanding the human biology 
learning about the non home non human organisms the dna sequences can lead to understanding their natural cap- uh, capabilities that can be applied towards the solving challenges in the healthcare agriculture energy production environmental remediation uh, remediation many non human models organisms such as the bacteria yeast coenorhabditis elegans a free living non pathogenic nematode then the drosophila the tr- fruit fly the plant like the rice and the arabidopsis etc have also been sequenced the methodologies the method involves to major approaches the one approach focus to identify the all genes that are expressed as the rna referred to as the express sequence tag that is the ests the other took the blind approaches of the simply sequencing and the whole set of the genome that contains the all coding and the non coding sequences and later assign the different regions in the sequence with a function the term referred to as the sequence annotations for the sequencing the total dna from the cell is isolated and converted into the random fraction of the relatively smaller size recall the dna is a very long polymer and there are the termin technical initiation in the sequences very long piece of the dna the clone in the suitable host using the specialized vectors a cloning resulted into the amplification of the each piece of the dna fragment and so that it is a subsequently could be sequenced with the ease and commonly used the host where the bacteria and the yeast the vector we are called as a bac the bacteria artificial chromosome and the yak that is the yeast artificial chromosomes the fragments were sequenced using the atom automated dna sequence that work on the principle of the method and develops by the frederick sanger remember the sanger is also the crea- uh, credited for the developing the method of the determination of the amino acid sequences in the protein these sequences were then arranged based on the s- some overlapping regions present in the uh, present in them this required the generation of overlapping fragments for sequencing the alignment of these sequences was a humanly not possible therefore the specialized computer based program were developed and these sequences were subsequently annotated annotated and were assigned to each chromosome the sequence of the chromosome one was completely only in a may 2006 and this was a list for the 24 human chromosomes that is the 22 autosomes and the x y to be sequence another challenging task was assigned the genetic and the physical map on the genome this was a gen- this was a generated using the formation of the formation on the polymorphism of the restriction endonuclease recognition site and the some repeated dna sequences known as a micro satellite one of the application of the polymorphism is a repeatedly dna sequences shall be explained in the next section of the dna fingerprinting Now the 6.9.1 is a satellite features silent features of the uh, human genome some of the silent observation drawn from the human genome project are as follows the human genome contains the 3164.7 b- million base pairs the average gene consists of the 3000 bases but its size vary greatly with the largest known human gene being dystrophin at a 2.5 million bases The total number of the gene is estimated at 30000 much lower than the prevention esti- estimated the 80000 to the 140000 genes almost all the 99.9% nucleotide bases are exactly the same in all the peoples the function are unknown for the over 50% of the discover- discovered genes less than the 2% of the genome code for the proteins and repeated sequences make up the very large proportion portion of the human genome the repetitive uh, the repetition sequences of the stretch of the dna sequences that are repeated many times sometimes 100 of the th- 100 to 1000 times and they are thought to have the no direct coding functions but they Share, uh, they shed the light on the chromosome structures dynamics and the evolution 
the next is a chromosome 1 has a most gene that is the 2968 genes and the y gene is a fewer that is the 231 genes the scientist has identified about the 1.5 million locations where the single base dna differences the snps the single nucleotide poly polymorphism that is the pro uh, pronouns as a snips occurs in the human this information promises to the uh, revolution uh, revolutionize <coughs> the process of the finding chromosomal locations for the disease associated sequences and the tracing the human history now the 6.9.2 is application and the future challenges deriving the meaningful knowledge from the dna sequence will define the research through the coming decades leads to more understanding of the biological systems and these enormous tasks will require the ex expertise and the creative to turn tens of the thousand of the scientists from the variety disciplines in the both public and the private sectors worldwide on the one of the greatest impact of the having the hg sequence human genome sequence may well enable the radically no, new approaches to the biological research in the past the researchers study one or one or a few genes at a time and with whole genome the sequence or a new gene new high throughout technologies we can approach the questions sim, systematically and on the much broad skills they can study all the genes in the genome for example all the transcription in the particular tissues or the organ or a tumor how tens of the thousand of the genes and the proteins work together in interconnecting network of the orchestrate and the chemistry of the life the 6.10 is the dna fingerprinting as i started the proceeding section the 99.9 percent .9 of the base sequences among the humans is the same amazing the human genome is the 3 into 10 raised to 9 base pair in how many basis sequences would there be the differences it is these differences in sequence of the dna which make a, every individual unique in their phenotypic appearance and if one aim to find the genetic differences between the two individuals or among the individuals of the population the sequencing dna every time would be doubting and the expressing expressive task they imagine trying to the compare the two sets of the 3 into 10 raised to 6 base pairs the dna fingerprinting is a very quick way to compare the dna sequences of the any two individuals dna fingerprinting involves the identifying the differences in the some specific regions in the dna sequence called as a repetitive dna because of uh, because in these sequences the small stretch of the dna repeated many times and this repetitive dna is separated from the bulk genomic dna as different peaks during the density gradient and the centrifugation the bulk dna forms a major peaks and the other system peak are referred to as the satellite dna depending on the base composition that is the a as to t rich or a g as to c rich length of the segment number of the repetitive units the satellite dna is classified into the many categories such as the micro satellite mini satellite etc this sequence is normally do not code for the any protein but they form the largest portion of the human genome these sequences shows the high degree of the polymer polymorphism and form the basic of the dna fingerprinting since the dna from the every tissues such as the blood hair follicle skin bone saliva and the sperm etc from and the individual shows the same degree of the polymorphism and they becomes the very useful identification tool in the uh, forensic applications therefore further the polymorphism are the inheritable from the parent to the children dna fingerprinting is a basic of the paternity testing in case of the disputed as the polymorphism in the dna sequence is the basis of the genetic mapping of the human genome as well as the dna fingerprinting it is essential that we understand that what 
डी एन ए पॉलीमॉर्फिजम मीन्स टू मीन्स इन अ सिंपल टर्म द पॉलीमॉर्फिजम मीन्स द वेरिएशन एट द जेनेटिक लेवल अराइज इज ड्यू टू द म्यूटेशन रिकॉल द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ द म्यूटेशन एंड देयर अफेक्ट इफेक्ट्स दैट यू हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडीड इन चैप्टर नंबर फिफ्थ द प्रोसीडिंग द सेक्शन इन दिस चैप्टर न्यू म्यूटेशन मे अराइज इन एंड द इंडिविजुअल आइदर इन अ सोमैटिक सेल और एक जर्म सेल एट्सेट्रा और अ सेल दैट जनरेट ए गैमेट इन अ सेक्सुअली रिप्रोड्यूसिंग ऑर्गेनिजम्स इफ द जर्म सेल म्यूटेशन डज नॉट सीरियसली इम्पेयर द इंडिविजुअल्स द एबिलिटी टू हैव द ऑपस्प्रिंग हु कैन ट्रांसमिट ए म्यूटेशन इट कैन स्प्रेड टू द अदर मेम्बर्स ऑफ द पॉपुलेशन दो द सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन एलिलिक allelic means the again recall the definition of the allele from the chapter number 5 sequence variation has the traditionally been described as a dna polymorphism if the more than the sequence greater than the point to not one in a simple term if and the inheritable mutation is observed in the population at a high sequence at a high frequency it is referred to as the dna polymorphism the probability of the such a variation is to be observed is in a non coding dna sequences would be higher as a mutated in these sequences may not have the any immediate effect or impact in and the individuals reproductive ability this mutation keep and the accumulative accumulating generation after the generation and form the one of the basis of the variability and the polymorphism there is a variety of the different types of the polymorphism and ranging from the single nucleotides ranges to very large scale changes for evolve for evolution and the speciation such a polymorphism plays a very important role and you will study this in the details at a higher classes the technique of the dna fingerprinting was initially developed by the a alex jeffrey and he used the satellite dna as a probe that shows the very high degree of the polymorphism it was called as a variable number of the tandem repeat that is the vntr the technique is used the earlier involvement that is the southern blot hybridization using the radio label that is the vntr as a probe and it include the first is isolation of dna second is the digestion of the dna by restriction restriction endonucleus third is the separation of the dna fragments by electrophoresis and last and fourth is the transferring the transferring or a blotting of the separated dna fragments to synthesis the to synthetic membrane and such a nitrocellulose or a nylon fifth is the using the label vntr probes and last is is the detection of the hybrid hybridized dna fragments by the adio, uh, at, atoradiography A schematic representation of the DNA fingerprinting is shown in the figure. The VNTR belongs to the class of the satellite DNA referred to as the mini satellite. A small DNA sequence is arranged tandemly in many copy numbers. A copy number varies from the chromosome to chromosome in an individual. The number of repeats shows the very high degree of the polymorphism. As a result, the size of the VNTR varies in the size from the point one to the twenty kilobase. Thus, consequently, after the hybridization with the VNTR probe and the atoradiograms gives the many bands of the differing the size, and these bands gives the characteristic pattern for an individual DNA. It differ from the individuals in the individual in the uh, population. except in the case of the monozygotic or identical twins the sensitivity of the technique has been increased by the use of the polymerase chain reaction that is the pcr you will study about it is in chapter number 11 consequently the dna from the single cell is enough to perform the dna fingerprinting analysis in addition to the application in the forensic in the forensic science it has a much wider application such as the determining the population and the genetic diversities currently many different probes are used to the genetic dna fingerprinting now the summary of the molecular basis of the inheritance nucleic acid are the long polymer of the nucleotides while the dna store the genetic information dna mostly help in the transfer and the expression of the tra- information 
though the dna and the rna both function as a genetic material but dna being a chemically and the structurally more stable is the better genetic material however the rna is a first to evolve and the dna was a derived from the rna the hallmark of the double stranded helical structure of the dna is a corrosion bonding between the bases from the opposite strands the rule is that the adenine pairs with the thymine though the two hydrogen bonds and the guanine with the cytosine through the three hydrogen bonds this makes one strand complementary to the other the dna replicate the semi conservatively the process is guided by the complementary the h bonding the segment of the dna is a coder for the rna may be simplistic term can be referred to as the gene during the transcription also one of the standard strand of the dna act as a template to direct the synthesis of the complementary dna in bacteria the transcribed mrna is a functional and hence is a directly be translated in eukaryote the gene is a split coding sequences exon are the interrupted by the non coding sequences or introns the introns are removed and the exons are joined to produce the functional gene functional rna by splicing the messenger rna contains a base sequences that are read in the combination of the three to make the triple genetic code to code for the amino acid the genetic code is read again on the principle of the complementary tRNAs that act as an the adapter molecules and there are the specific tRNA for the every amino acid and the tRNA binds to the specific amino acid at one end and pairs through the hydrogen bonding with the code for the mRNA through its anticodon the site of the translation or a protein synthesis is a ribosome which binds to the mrna and provides the platform for the joining of the amino acid one of the rrnas act as a catalyst for a peptide bond formation and which is an example of the rna enzyme that is the ribozymes translation is a process that has evolved around the dna indicating that the life began around the rnas and since transcription and the translation are energetically very expensive processes and these have to be the tightly regulated regulation of the transcription is the primary step for the regulation of the gene expression in bacteria the more than the one gene is arranged together and regulate in the units called as the operon the lac operon is a prototypes operon in the bacteria and which codes for the gene responsible for the metabolism of the lactose the operon is regulated by the amount of the lactose in a medium where the bacteria are grown therefore the regulation can also be viewed as a regulation of the enzyme synthesis by its substrate human genome project was a mega project that aim to sequence every base in a human genome and this project has yielded much new information many new areas and avenues have been opened up as a consequences of the project dna fingerprinting is a technique to find out the variation in the individuals of the population at a dna level it works on the principle of the polymorphism in the dna sequence and it has a immense application in the field of the forensic science the genetic biodiversity and the evolutionary biology thank you so much